Now this air motor has another relatively common problem which should be fairly obvious I mean, and to me it's obvious to the naked eye um, these valves right here these valves are supposed to make a seal right here and if you look at if you look at the uh, I'm going to try to zoom in here can't get too close if you can see this let's see if I get the light reflected just right here you can see that all along this side here there's there's no there's no marking and then you look right along here back out a little bit you look right here and you can see that there is no marking and what that means is that there's no seal right here there was a good seal there's a good seal right here where it's rubbing from being pulled in and then you can see that that's a consistent problem you can look you can just look at the reflections of these pieces and you can see that there's no virtually no rubbing except until you get to this one right here this one right here there's a little bit of rubbing if I can see, see how you can see that rubbing right there or it's rubbing right there and also on this one right here on the end you can see that it's been rubbing right? but on this one you can also see in fact this is this is definitely the best cylinder of the five cylinders because you can almost see a rub pattern all the way around you can almost see a rub pattern all the way around here and of course that's what you need in order to have a seal there should be a rub pattern it goes all the way around this valve and there should be a there should be a similar rub pattern all the way around here you can see that this one and this one are fairly good except you see there's no rub pattern right there and there's no rub pattern right there on this one there's no rub pattern right there or rub pattern in this whole area right here so obviously since this is where there's a vacuum okay in other words vacuum is inside of here and this piece of wood is only that wide and you can see the pattern right there so obviously there was a huge leak right there there was a massive leak right here another massive leak right here okay and what that indicates is that this block, this block is not flat. Okay, that's what it indicates. It indicates that the block is not flat. It also indicates that uh, sl that the sliders. It also indicates that the sliders aren't flat. So, as part of the rebuild process, we'll resurface the block and sliders. I have a video um, on YouTube and at my webpage. It shows how I do that process, how I re, re flatten the block and the sliders. Uh, those are the two major problems with this air motor. Another problem, which really doesn't have anything to do with the uh, the operation, doesn't have anything to do with the operation of the machine, but which is a problem nonetheless, is going to be this glue. Okay. This glue is obviously this glue is obviously a carpenter's glue. You can tell by the slightly yellow tint that it has. Um, and yellow glue is a real nightmare. Uh, 
when it's used for putting these bellows back on and the chances are pretty good that uh, these bellow boards may have to be replaced um, so but that's a that's a horse of a different color